Mmm. Oh, really good. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is wash our apples in hot water to get all that wax off the apples. Uh, the wax causes bubbles to form under your candy apples and is the number one problem people have. Put your sticks into the top of the apples so they're standing straight up and then move them to a tray with a silicone mat. And then we're gonna put them in the fridge. I'm gonna be wearing gloves. I'm gonna have an ice bath nearby. I got my candy thermometer, all my stuff ready to go. And of course, wear closed toed, toed shoes so you don't drip any hot sugar on your feet. Put your sugar, your corn syrup, and your water into a pot over medium-high heat and then cover it with a lid and bring it to a boil for five minutes. The condensation brushes down the edges of the pot so that there's no granules um, to crystallize your sugar. I'm adding in some uh, cinnamon candies to add flavor, but you can add candy extract or whatever flavor you want. Then I'm gonna put my candy thermometer in there, brush down the sides with some more water just to make double sure all of the sugar is dissolved. And we're gonna bring that to 280 degrees before we add in our color, or if you're using extract, you would add it at this point. Take out your candy thermometer, carefully move everything to the side. Ooh, look how pretty. <laughs> Let it cool down to about 270 to 280. And now we're gonna start the dipping. Look how satisfying that is. It's so pretty. And then you just let the excess drip off and put it on to the silicone mat to cool down. I even tried adding some flash dust to the candy mixture. This is an edible glitter and oh my gosh, it totally added an extra amount of wow to the candy apples. I highly recommend using that. You can get it from Never Forgotten Designs. Your leftover candy is totally usable. You can make little hard candies. You can store it, make more candies later. And that is how you make the best candy apples ever. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> you can get this recipe on Sugar Geek Show.